Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm going to be doing another video on ZSH. Look at that, I finally got the name correct. Uh, so yeah, I decided that uh, I really didn't cover uh, as much as I wanted in my last ZSH video. Uh, I did sort of cover the main reasons why I use ZSH and the main features I actually like about it. But I decided that because ZHS, uh, or ZSH, sorry, there I go again has so many features that I would make an entire series out of it and sort of showcase uh, multiple different things about ZHS, ZSH, <laughs> and uh, what exactly makes it awesome. Uh, so yeah, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the auto push D uh, function for ZSH. Now, uh, for, you, for those of you who don't know, push D is essentially a built-in command, and by built-in I mean a command that's included uh, as part of uh, a shell interpreter and what it essentially does is it allows you to save a directory into a directory stack so that you can change to that directly directory quicker um, and not have to type out the entire name for instance say I uh, wanted to go to one of the uh, locations in my steam game for instance I don't know so you know getting there takes uh, it's quite a descent into the directory stack. As you can see, I gotta first go to local, share, Steam. Uh, and then I gotta find Steam apps, common. And then I gotta find the game I wanna go to, uh, Alien Isolation. Right, and then I'm looking around the files and I do whatever I do. And then say I go back to home. Well, one cool thing is uh, what you can do is you can actually type in push D and just type in that entire directory. Uh, or better yet, while you're in that directory, you can actually just type push D like that. What that'll do is that'll save that directory to a list that can that in ZSH is called with DIRS. Now I should mention that I actually uh, use DIRS V, which is what makes it sort of a vertical list like that, nice and uh, formatted nice. Um, So yeah, that's a pretty neat feature, uh, and if I want to go back to that directory from anywhere in my file system, I can just type cd, and as you see we have the zero here, dash zero, or excuse me, let me actually call it there again so I get the proper number, it's dash one now because I just switched to the home directory, okay, there we go, and then now we're back in that directory. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really use this feature a whole lot, or at least I didn't, because you have to actually physically type out push HD, and it's kind of slow, right? Because you have to do push HD, and then you have to put in the directory, and then you have to type DIRS in to get the uh, directory name. That's why I never used this feature much, much in Bash. However, ZSH has an incredible option called auto push D. And what this does is I'm going to load up my Z. SHRC file, and here are the options here. Uh, let me see here, visual. I've highlighted the options on screen. And what these essentially are are options that enable things such as auto push D. Now, auto push D is really cool because what it does is it actually automatically, whenever you CD to a directory, CSH will save that directory automatically to the DIR stack. And you can specify how many uh, directories you will allow in the DIR stack here. I should mention that you seem to have to be able to uh, declare that variable, the DIR stack size variable, prior to actually setting these options, or else the DIR stack size variable doesn't seem to be utilized properly. Anyway, yeah, so that's the first uh, option. Uh, the first option I've set is auto push D, which allows to, whenever I change into a directory, ZSH automatically adds that directory to the DIRS list, so I don't have to type push D anymore. Cool, so that's one thing down. Uh, push D silent uh, is essentially a feature that uh, doesn't, whenever you change to a directory using pop D, it doesn't print it out. Uh, pop D is essentially, if we go to the man page for pop D, you can see, oh, it doesn't even have a man page. That's because we have to do man, CHS, Built ends and then look for pop D. Nice. There we are. 
And yeah, essentially POPD is a piece, a built-in piece of uh, software that essentially uh, is for deleting items in the uh, DIR stack list. So for instance, you know, we type DIRs, um, let's actually get a directory, let's actually CD to a directory. Uh, so for instance, we see in DIRs we have, we want to get rid of one from the DIR stack, so we just type POPD minus one. We type it again it's now off the directory list. And this can be useful because um, say you CD to a, the home and you want to quickly go back you can just type pop D and that'll actually remove the current directory you're in from the dir stack and put you in the previous directory. Uh, but it doesn't go so well when you have multiple directories so I don't really find myself using pop D that much. Uh, but yeah that just keeps it so when I type pop D because usually when you type pop D it also prints the directory you're in and that kind of verbose in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that gets rid of that. Push D minus, uh, by default, it pop D uses like, if you want to get rid of um, uh, like directory, like the third directory in the listing, you would type plus three instead of minus three, and that the push D minus sort of switches the meaning of that around. Uh, makes, makes it make much more sense in my opinion. And uh, push D ignore dupes is essentially like the uh, uh, history command ignore uh, duplicate entries. If you CD into the same directory multiple times it won't save that into the dir stack with this option. Which is nice um, because by default if you CD to downloads go to home and then go back to downloads you'll have two entries of downloads. This makes sure that that is not a problem. Very nice feature. Um, there's also a another feature that I believe, uh, let me see, I think it's DHS options. Uh, it's push D. There's another push D option I want to talk about, which is push D to home. Uh, essentially, what push D to home is, is it, um, let me highlight that better so you guys can get a good look at it. Oh, that looks weird. Anyway, what push D to home is, is if you type in push D without any arguments, it'll uh, send you to home, much like typing CD without any arguments would act. I don't really have that option set because I don't find myself ever just typing in push D. So yeah, I kind of find it uh, pointless. But if you want to enable that, you can just do, you know, push D to home or whatever the heck the uh, option name was, and then that'll enable it. Okay, so what's cool about this? Well, this feature is really cool because I can go into, say for, for instance, if I'm looking for, if I just installed a piece of software and I'm looking for its configuration file, because sometimes it'll save it in config or local share. So what I'll do is I'll go to local, local, uh, <laughs> I type CD twice, fantastic. I'll go to local share and then I'll, you know, do a directory list and sort of figure out where the uh, director, the program's files are uh, saved in. And then I'll CD to that directory. And then, you know, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and if I exit out, say I want to go back to that directory. Uh, most people will just go up to the history. Well, because I uh, had to use two different, uh, essentially two commands to get to get there, I would have to re-execute first CD local share and then do whom three or just type it in again. Uh, and this is where one of the advantages of push auto push D comes in because as you can see that directory in its entirety was saved into the uh, push D dir stack so I can just type in CD and this is the another cool thing uh, usually you would have to type in dirs get the file or excuse me get the dirs number type in CD dash one to go there well, the cool thing about ZSH's auto completion is it works for built in tools as well. So I can just type in cd dash hit tab, and there you go. I actually have the DIR stack, and I can see all the files on it uh, without having to first run DIRs. So this is incredibly useful. So this just gives you another idea of how powerful ZSH's auto completion is. It's really, really good. Um, and I do find myself using push the uh, push HD more thanks to the auto push HD option. I can go to very very long directory listings like user local uh, games or just any type of uh, 
directory that has a lot that's very recursive you know you keep going down and down and I can find myself CDing out of that and I don't have to look for the command again you know I don't have to execute multiple CD commands from my history to get back I can just type CD dash get a directory listing and go there that quick it is incredibly useful I love it it's a very useful uh, small thing that ZSH does um, that's just built right into it that you can enable uh, as you can see, uh, let me go to this again. As you can see, you know, one line, and essentially, oh, insert mode there for a second. As you can see, one line, or two lines if you count the Durstack size, and this feature is enabled. Incredibly simplistic, uh, an amazing feature. And that's just another reason why ZSH is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Keith, signing out.